the design cycle. Whether you are aware of it or not, you probably use this handy tool on numerous occasions to guide you while solving problems, creating products, or while planning events. You investigate your options, you design the layout, developing key goals by which you will measure your success, and after your creation comes to life, you ask for feedback and reflect on the outcome to ensure that your goals are met. I have the amazing opportunity to teach students how to use the design cycle to manage their thoughts and to be confident in their decisions. And isn't the ability to make informed decisions one of the best tools with which we can equip the next generation of adults? So how do you create a course that teaches students how to make informed decisions while showcasing the possibilities that lie within the technology that surrounds them? How do you create a course that even their parents will want to take? You use the very design cycle that you are teaching students to use, that's how. And that is precisely what I do every fall and spring as I prepare to take SJK's grade nine class on an educational adventure of a lifetime. The investigation stage involves researching exciting local initiatives in support of the first intense technology focused week in the fall and also keeping abreast of the happenings in Ottawa for the second week in the spring. Sure, there are some staples. Locally, I can count on support from Google, Communitech, Toyota, and RWDI engineers who wow our students year after year with their work on high-profile contracts, such as the Burj Dubai. And in Ottawa, the Science and Technology Museum, the Aviation Museum deliver high-quality programs, while the hospital has toured SJK students through radiology labs every year since the program's inception. But just as it was through investigation that I was able to connect with these fantastic establishments, it is through investigation that I have found some other pretty amazing yet lesser known gems within our community and in Ottawa. Investigation allows me to breathe fresh life into the course every year. It has led me to discover and share with students the technical marvels that link design to dramatic productions as we went behind the scenes of Stratford's production of Tommy. It allows me to discover new initiatives offered by the world-renowned post-secondary educational establishments with which we have the privilege of sharing a region, such as Conestoga College's Institute of Food Processing Technology. And it gives me hope as I share with students the research behind Ottawa's dedication to plasma gasification, in which garbage is broken down into basic elements that are recombined into energy with almost no emissions. So incredible. The design stage sees me working and reworking schedules that take into account the availability of business and educational institutions, transportation needs, dietary restrictions, opportunities for students to get exercise, and of course, the fun factor. With the development of such a course, design and planning are natural and necessary, but it is certainly a challenge when teaching students to use the design cycle to choose products that help them, projects that help them to understand the worth of this stage. It is difficult in a world of instant gratification to instill in students the importance of having the patience and taking the time to develop a complete design before jumping into the more rewarding creation stage. That's why I was thrilled when while we were working at the cooperative environment of Communitech, an entrepreneur who overheard a student wondering why he couldn't just skip the design and just program the game already, said, may I interject with a real world example? <laughs> Music to a teacher's ears. Design and planning are invaluable in the real world and I can only hope that I am planting the seed for my students to come to that realization someday. The creation stage when the course is implemented is certainly rewarding but exhausting all at the same time. We begin our days at 8.30 in the morning and work until 9 or 10 at night, but it was totally worth it when I take the time to evaluate the experience. The most important part of the evaluation stage of the design cycle is to reflect on the success criteria. In other words, the goals that were established way back when developing the design. And when I hear students excitedly recount the week with their friends or open a parent email that reads, I sure wish I had that opportunity when I was in high school, I am proud to have been a part of something that ignites SJK.